if I record this in QuickBooks, again, you could do it with a journal entry to just record a journal entry, but I'd like to have my revenue typically recorded uh, with invoices because that's the form. So sometimes when I look at my reports and, and track the revenue recording, the journal entries are useful for that. And it's also easier sometimes to assign it to the classes and the projects and, and be able to sort the information also by project and customer. So we have our, our invoice laid out here, but I needed to make it go to work in process. So all I'm gonna do is tweak this bottom bit. The bottom bit needs to be tweaked. And then we're gonna say this is gonna be negative 25, 385.1. And this is gonna to go to class two. So now the invoice usually increases accounts receivable, but it's zeroed out. So we're not gonna increase the accounts receivable. All of this stuff is gonna increase a revenue account because that's what the items do. And then the other side is, is instead of going to AR is gonna to go to work in process. So we just made a journal entry in essence with an invoice. All right, so let's save and close it. So then if I go back to my reports, we can see then, then what happened. K Paso, the work in process is impacted here which is what we want to have happening. And I can see it broken out by class because I, I assigned classes to it. So it's a classy report, which gives us a little bit more information if there are multiple uh, accounts with work and process in it, that's useful. Tab to the right and we can say, okay, now over here, I've got my revenue broken out this way in March. So it's it's applied to the proper time frame now because I'm saying this is the costs that we incurred in order to generate that revenue. And that's that's basically what we want. That's kind of uh, what we're looking for. We can also do, if I duplicate this, our profit and loss by class. We could do a classy profit and loss. Let's take this for the whole year, 12, 31, 2, 5, and do this for the whole year because then I can see the multiple classes. So now you've got the multiple classes that add up. That's quite useful when we're trying to analyze like our full job report. That's why the classes I think add another level uh, that is useful. All right, so now let's let's go to the next step. And we'll since we'll just continue on here, we're gonna build a client now. So now we're over here. This has been done. Dishes are done, dude. Sorry, that's in some movie. I can't even remember what movie that is, but I think it had, anyway. What am I on over here? I'm on the, I'm on, we're gonna bill, we're gonna bill now uh, for the for the next month, for the 30,000. So this was done and now I'm on this one, boom. So let's do that. We're gonna bill them. I don't have much room on my worksheet over here because I don't wanna keep going down. So I'm gonna add another worksheet to the side. So to do that, I'm gonna put my cursor, let's put it on P and I need like one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna put it on P, one, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna right click on those columns and insert, boom. And then what I'd like to do is format them like these ones. So I'm gonna put my cursor on K over to, over to N, K to N, and then format paint and I'll put that right here so it widens out those cells. Ah, okay. One, two, three, four. Home tab, format painter. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that looks good. Looks good, okay. So then I might be able to hide these ones. So do I need to hide it? Maybe I'll just keep them there. I don't really need to hide it, I don't think. It's not gonna throw us off. We can see what's happening. So then we're going to say accounts receivable is going to go up because we're just going to build a client. This is going to be an invoice that actually goes out. But the other side, I don't want it to go to revenue this time because this is just one that I want to get paid on and, and, not, uh, and not one that I want to record the revenue because I record the revenue with the other format according to the revenue recognition thing. So this is just going to be paid according to our payment schedule of 30000 because that's what we told the client that we were going to pay them and we're going to stick to that. This isn't a government job that we completely underestimated because that's what you do with those ones. We have clients that are actually want competent work done. 
it's not we didn't we didn't get it because we know we know some politician or something and that's how we got the job any case we're gonna say f2 plus f2 is gonna be 30,000 all right and then the billing down here is gonna be f2 plus f2 and 30,000 so there we have it let's go and do that over on in uh, QuickBooks and so we'll just bill the client so now we're gonna actually send out the next bill for the following month in accordance with our payment structure so I'm gonna send out another invoice, but this is the invoice that's actually gonna go out to the client and I'm gonna base this one on the estimate that we originally made using our progress invoicing. This time the percent will be 30, 30%. 30% pulls it in, boom, nicely structured. This is gonna be date of 4-1 and you've got this beautiful uh, structure down here of our of our uh, items that we're going to be invoicing for. Okay, so that looks good. This would increase the accounts receivable for that 30,000 and the other side would be going to the revenue accounts. And in this case, we want accounts receivable to go up. So I need a 30,000 down here, but I don't want the other side to go to revenue. So all of these, I could like replace these with one line item that doesn't go to revenue, but I kind of like the detail of having these line items here. So I'm just gonna say, reverse that back out with just a, like a little journal entry at the bottom here, reduce the revenue for the total amount of negative 30,000. And this is gonna be class number two. And then I'm gonna put the other side into where I want it to go, which is the billings account, the billings account boom and that's going to be for 30,000 and job number two 